ever told. Presented by the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. Tonight we present The Lost Coin, a drama of forgiveness and aid to those who need forgiveness, based on a teaching from the greatest life ever lived. What woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, does not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it? Thus he spoke almost 2,000 years ago. Yet even as he spoke of coins, those who listened knew he spoke of souls, how they become lost and how they are found. And they remembered perhaps a woman and her son whose story began in this way. At night, on the edge of a vineyard in Galilee. Come on, David. No one can see us. Do you think it's all right? All the other boys raid this vineyard. Why shouldn't we? Well... Then let's hurry. Now, there's nothing to worry about. Take your time. You know, this is the best time of year for grapes, too. So we can start right here. How do you like them? Large and juicy, too, I'll bet, huh? Come on, taste them. We ought to get out of here as soon as we can. If my mother ever found Your that... mother? So that's it. If I'd known that, I wouldn't have asked you to come along. I'll get so jumpy, let's take a few bunches and run. Come on. Who's out there? Huh. What are you doing in my vineyard this time of night? Who is it? That's Caleb. Now we'd better run for it. Come on, David. Abner! Abner, wait for me! Help me! Wait? And get caught, maybe? Not me. You'll have to take care of yourself. Sorry. Right. Abner! Abner! Oh. oh! My foot hurts! But I'll get away. I'll. Oh! Now, you, you wait, you young scoundrel! I'll see that you get what's coming to you. Oh, so it's you, David. Well, I never expected... I'm sorry, sir. Caleb, it was it was only a... Well, well, a joke. Please don't do anything to me. What joke is it? My best grapes spoiled before they can ripen. Torn from their vines. That's no joke, David. Not to me. And this has got to stop. Oh, please, sir. I didn't even touch one grape. I'm sorry, young man, but someone has got to be made an example. And I caught you in the very act of trespassing on my property. You'll come along with me. Oh, please, sir. My mother... What will she say if she finds out? I can't worry about that. Come along. No, no, I won't. You let go of me. The only time I let go of you is when I turn you over to one of the town guards. This time I'll teach you all. No, no, let go of me. There. I told you I'd get away. Abner, something terrible has happened. But I see you got away, David. Well, now you're beginning to catch on. Please, Abner, what can I do? You're free, aren't you? But Caleb recognized me. And besides, I I hit him before he let go. I may have hurt him pretty badly. They'll be after me. Well, if he recognized you, they will be after you. And you know old Enoch, the judge, he's pretty hard in cases like this. (laughs) Oh. Tell me, David. Did Caleb recognize me? He didn't say anything. He never would have caught up with me if I hadn't tripped. I, I don't think he saw you. Uh-huh. Well, I think the best thing is for you to run away. Leave here. Where will I go? Go anywhere. You can reach the caravan route by morning if you keep going all night. There, apprentice yourself as a water boy for the camel. You can be making money and traveling at the same time. Yes, but... My mother... What will she say? How will she feel? Would she feel any better if you were dragged out of the house tomorrow morning and hauled off to the judge? Oh, no. The disgrace would hurt her badly. Of course it would. And besides, this way you can go away, you can make money, and one day when it's all forgotten, you can come back and you can give your mother anything she wants. Yes. Yes, you're right. For her sake, I ought to go. Save her disgrace. But you won't tell anyone. Me? Why, of course not. And, uh, by the way, David, 
if you should be caught, well, you won't say that I was with you in Kansas Vineyard. Oh, no. No, good. Then it's a bargain. Goodbye, David. Goodbye, Abner. Maybe someday I'll see you again. Yes, sure. Maybe. <laughs> Daylight already, Simon. David's not the kind of boy to get into mischief. What could have happened? Did you ask? Mother, I searched all over the town. There was no sign of it. I even spoke to that boy, Abner, he's been friendly with. Abner said he hadn't seen him all night. Something terrible's happened, Simon. Well, you're worrying yourself sick. Won't help. You just have to wait and see. That must be him. David! Where is he? I finally was able to rouse the guard. We've come for him. But Caleb, what are you talking about? Who will you come for? Where is he? Where's David? David? What do you want him for? Stealing grapes from my vineyard. And then assaulting me in his effort to escape. I never expected your son would turn out to be a thief. He is not a thief. Simon, go and look for him. He's probably hiding. He's so ashamed of himself. And he should be. Look at my face. See that mark? He struck me. It's lucky I wasn't killed, I tell you. Now you'll give him up. He's here hiding. I'm sure of it. But I'm trying to tell you he hasn't come home yet. He must be hiding somewhere in town. We've searched all over. No sign of oh, him. Oh, I hope he hasn't done something desperate. I'll go. I'll find him myself. Mother. Mother, come back here. You can't go. Not now. Well, I hope she finds him. He's got plenty coming to him, and I'll see that he gets it. <laughs> Please, Mother, weeping doesn't help. I only knew where he was. I'll try to find out. I'll ask everyone if they've seen him, where he went, what happened. Please, Simon. You may have better luck than I did. Go and find out. Bring me some word of my son. Please, Simon. All right, Mother. <laughs> Well? Mother, I... I didn't find out anything, Death. What does that mean, sir? Nobody... No, nobody's sure. Simon, you don't usually try to hide your meaning in words. What happened? What did you hear? Someone said that David was last seen leaving town and heading in the direction of the caravan train. The caravan train? But why? No. No, don't tell me, Simon. I think I know. You, you really think he would, Mother? He was a proud boy. Thank you. He wouldn't have wanted to disgrace me. Yes. He must have run away. Well, a little rough experience may be what he needs. He'll be back. He'll be back? I'll bring him back. But, Mother, that's impossible. Simon, your brother's young. He's never been away from home before. I can't trust the chance that he'll be all right. I must know. I could never rest until I knew. Mother, I won't let you do it. You can't stop me, Simon. No one can. We must find him and show him the way back. Is that it, Ishmael? Is that Alexandria? That's it, David. And a great city. The greatest city a country boy like you will ever see. Oh, it is great. Such palaces and towers. And all the people. Oh, it's a great city. Could I... Ishmael, could I find work there? You mean you won't be going back with us on the return journey? Why, lad? What's the matter? Oh. Ishmael, I can tell you. You've been my only friend on this journey. You got some secret, boy? What is it? I can't go back. I... Well, I... I did something wrong back home. Uh -huh. They're looking for me. You? No, you're fooling. You're not the kind of boy who gets into trouble. But I did. 
I may have killed a man. That's a serious thing, David. You won't tell anybody. Me? How could I? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, you know, boy, if that's the way things are, I think I can help you. You can? I think so. I have a friend in Alexandria who could do you some good. We'll go see him when we arrive and unload the camel. What do you say? Oh, I'd appreciate it very much. Very much indeed. Good. Then it's settled. Well, Mother, now that we've come all the way to the caravan route, how much better off are we? You've only worn yourself out. You know nothing more now than you did before. That's not so, sir. Just because the man said that he'd seen a boy who looked like David. It wasn't that he looked like him. It was the way the man talked about him. How he said that the boy seemed shy, afraid. Remember how the man said his eyes shone so brightly? I knew it was David then. I knew it. And if it was. Then we'll have to follow the same route as that caravan he did. But that could take us all the way to Alexandria. It could. And I'll go. Because it may take me to my son. You know I won't let you go alone. I have to go, Simon. I should know by this time. If it's David who's involved, you'll go. You won't turn back. And if it were you, do you think I would? He's not David or Simon or Nathaniel. He's my son who's in trouble. I'll go along, Mother. You'll need some to protect you from your own zeal. We'll go together. Thank you, Simon. I hope your friend likes me, Ishmael. I need the job. Don't worry, he will. We'll find out soon enough. It's this little house here. Oh. Now, don't be disappointed. He may seem to live poorly, but you can earn a great deal with him. Come. Who is it? It's me, Oret. Your friend Ishmael. I'll let you in. Well, Ishmael, it's good to see you again. Did you bring any more? I uh, want you to meet a friend of mine first. Oret, here is a strong, bright lad named David. He's, uh, he's looking for employment. He is, eh? Well, possibly I can help you, young man. Come in, come in. May I have a word with you privately, Schmell? I'm sure David doesn't mind. Of course not. Then come this way, Schmell. Well? The boy's running away. Thinks he killed a man. Good. With that over his head, I'll be able to hold him. You think he's good material? Smart enough to do anything and frightened enough to try anything. I'm sure of this one. Fine. I'll make it worth your while. Now. Any other business? I couldn't get my hands on any gold. We carried grain this time. But next time... Well, this boy may be worth his weight in gold. I'll give you your payment this time as usual. And if the boy works out as you think, well, there'll be more in it for you, Ishmael. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Yes, all right. Did you decide about the job? Ishmael said before he left that you seemed favorable about it. I am? You think I like to see a young lad like yourself alone so far from home without a place to sleep or anything to eat? The job's yours. But uh, it will require some training. Training? I learned quickly, sir. So Ishmael told me. Well, we're going to find out. Yes, sir. What do I have to do? First, we have to have a little talk about it. You see, this is a different kind of business than you may have had in mind. But it's more profitable. Oh, that's good, sir. Because I must make a great deal of money. There's so much I have to make up for to my mother. <laughs> that's a good boy. Now then, you see this leather coin pouch hanging from my belt? Yes, sir. How would you go about taking it if you didn't want me to know? But why should I? Go on, try it. Take it. All right, sir. 
Yes. Not good at all. Too sudden, too much of a pull. You have to do it easily, you see. Like this. Otherwise, you'll be caught the very first time. Caught? What do you mean? Your job will be to go into the marketplace, to go where the crowd of merchants is thickest. You want me to steal? You will. I will not. Then I shall have to go to the authorities and tell them I'm housing a boy wanted for murder. You told you. Yes, he told me. And now, boy, if you want to live, you'd better do as I say. And I say, steal. But at the last station, no one had seen him, Mother. And if no one had, David must have been more afraid. He must have been hiding. Don't you see, the further he runs, the more help he needs to return. He thinks we don't want him. I've got to prove to him that we do. Mother, you've gone too far already. Your health doesn't permit you to go on. And my love for my son doesn't permit me to stop. We must find him. Please. Mother, before we get into the desert, I, I ask you to reconsider. Suppose he's not in Alexandria. Suppose he's deserted the caravan. Suppose, well, so many things could have happened. If he were dead, I'd know. I didn't want to say. Your brother is alive, Simon, and he needs my help. I know that, too. Not many women make this desert crossing. Too grueling, too dangerous. We'll make it. I can't let you go through this storm. We must turn back. I will not turn back, Simon. Ahead where the storm ends, he may be there, sick, alone, needing my help. We won't turn back. But they've already lost three camels and one driver. If the men can't make it, how do you expect to? I've got something they don't have. The need to see my son again. We'll keep going, Simon. <laughs> Now, David, we'll try it again. After so many weeks, you should be doing better. Now, this time, try, try. Yes, sir. All right. The pouch is fashioned for my belt here. I'm looking at the shop from the bazaar. You come along. Well, go on, go on, go on. Yes, sir. Wrong. Maybe I can do it all. Maybe you'd better find someone else. Oh, no, you don't get off so easily. You can learn. You will learn. You'd better begin making progress soon, otherwise I'll turn you in. You'll hang. But already. Watch me see how I do it. We'll do it once more. Is that better? Yes. At last you're beginning to develop a touch for it. Now we'll try it once more. Go on. Oh, it's no use. Can't do it. I can't. You can. You've already shown that you can. Now try it once more. Better. Better. The last few days you've been doing it beautifully. But out there, I'll be afraid. I won't be able to do it, Horeb. I know. Oh, yes, you will. I'm not a thief, Horeb. Only a murderer. I don't even know if I killed him. I only hit him once. You've been over that plenty in the last few weeks. If you're so sure you didn't kill him, why don't you go back? Why don't you give yourself up to the authorities in your land? Well, why don't you? Please, or if I... All right. What do I do now? You're ready for the marketplace, my young friend. Mm -hmm. I haven't been training and feeding you for weeks for nothing. You've got to start sometime, and tomorrow is the day. But if they catch me... <laughs> there's a little guarantee I have that you won't give up too easily. If they catch you, a uh, foreigner here, 
There'll be questions. And you know you're too poor a liar to hold out very long. You see, if you get caught, it can mean your life. So you'll go into the marketplace tomorrow. You'll do as I taught you. You'll do it well. Because if you don't, it's your life, not mine. You won't even give me a chance. You're getting a chance, boy. A chance to make a lot of money without working too hard for it. Tomorrow, boy, you're going to find out what it's like to live off the pool. Yes, boy. Tomorrow. <laughs> Many merchants there. I picked out one whose purse didn't seem too securely tied to his belt. I edged up to him, had my fingers on the cord. I pulled it. The purse came loose. And then he discovered you? No. Well, what happened? I can't tell you all this. Oh, yes. Please, you're hurting me. I'll do worse than hurt you. Now, what happened? I couldn't do it. I dropped it at his feet and began running. You. What? I couldn't do it. I began running. That must have made him know what I tried to do. Then I heard voices calling to stop me. I just ran, ran, ran. Oh, you did. Take it. <laughs> you ran. <laughs> I'll teach you to run. <laughs> I'll teach you. <laughs> Thereafter, you, I'll turn you over to them. I'll tell them everything. No, no, please, Olive. I'll do anything. Anything. But in that case, just be quiet. I'll see who it is. What do you want? A boy. My son. We saw him go running down the street. The, the crowd lost him, but I'm sure he came this way. Is he here? Your son? No, I don't know him. Never saw him. You see, Mother, I told you. You were mistaken. No, it was the street. He must be here somewhere, Simon. Are you sure, sir? Of course I'm sure. But I heard a voice. It, it sounded like Go him. Go on, woman. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no one here but me. Mother, please. As he used to cry, that's the way it sounded. He's here somewhere. David! David! You say? Mother, please. Say. Mother. <laughs> Mike. And I didn't really injure him. Oh, it's so hard to believe. I know, David. It was your fear that took you so far from me. Once someone does something wrong, the guilt he feels drives him further and further on the road to evil. That's why I had to find you, David, to let you know that we want you back. I must ask Caleb's forgiveness. I must make it up to him for the injury I've done him. Of course. Don't worry, David. I'll help you settle matters with Caleb. Will you, Simon? And all the trouble I've caused you, Mother. And shame. Trouble? Shame? These are not important, David. When a coin is lost, someone has to search for it. And that's even more true of a son. None of the trouble and none of the shame can compare with the joy that I feel now that my son is back again. And think of what would have happened if we hadn't found him. We would have had to do what Ori said. Yes. Yeah. So, should I be ashamed now that I have you back before you were lost to me forever? 
Ah, no, David. I feel joy and pride. And so will all my friends and neighbors now that I've found my son and brought him back to good ways and a clean life. What woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle? and sweep the house, and seek diligently till she find it. And when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner, that repented. was brought to you by the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. Next week on this same network at this time, we'll present Call Not Any Man a Fool, another episode in the greatest story ever told from the greatest life ever lived. ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.